My name is Jerry Kenny. My wife and I live in southeastern Illinois in a little town called Fairfield, Illinois. We have a little small farm ranch, you might call it, that we uh, truly enjoy. I was a lineman and now I do spend a lot of my time instructing lineman schools and traveling the country sharing my story with other linemen. On July 16th, 2015, I went to work that day being a lineman and made contact with a 7,200 volt power line. Well, I just knew during his stay in the hospital, the severity of his injuries when the doctors would come and tell me, our main concern is just for that man to feed himself. I mean, that was a kick in the gut. I never even thought he couldn't feed himself. That's why I chose Arm Dynamics is because they were specialists and I knew he had to have a specialist. When we went to Arm Dynamics, the expedited fitting was so surprising to me, you know. It was like I had nothing on my limbs and in a week's time we walked out of that place and I mean, I had a pretty good common knowledge with my process and my OT of what to expect, you know? Things that you have to do daily, like getting dressed, showering, things like that. Sometimes to me, an OT can be a good uh, translator between you and the process because, you know, I, I don't even know how they should feel on me or, you know, what I should be able to do with them. But you spend a little time with OT and they watch you, your mechanics of doing stuff, they know and they pick up on it and then tell a process, you know, he's struggling here or I think he needs this or I think he needs that. You know, there was a team working together to make me come out there the best that I could. You can wash your face now. Oh, I know. You don't know how what that means. They cared for me as much as they did Jerry. Um, my mental health, they asked me how I felt and asked me many different questions that helped me even cope with what I was experiencing. You know, I'm, I'm a hardworking, go-getting type of person. By the confidence that I got from my prosthetic team, with the task that they put me through and got me comfortable with doing with my prosthetic, when I got home, I just could not wait to tie into everything that I could get my prosthetics on. It used to be my hands, now it's my prosthetics. I just had to figure out a new way to do it. It's extremely crucial for proper fit on uh, prosthetics, especially the sockets that my limb are going into, because I guarantee you, there's no two limbs alike. Between my body power and my myos, I've easily wore prosthetics 18 hours a day. You know, easily. You know, and on any given day, I probably have them on a minimum of eight to 10 hours. And that's probably when I'm not doing very much. You know, so is fit crucial? Yeah. Well, right now I'm sitting in a room that I'm super proud of because uh, most of the work that's been done in here has been done after my limb loss. I look at this room as my path to using prosthetics in a sense. It's all kind of lineman memorabilia and stuff and things from my career. It allowed me to figure out new and different ways of doing things that got me on the road after my accident to actual putting these awesome prosthetics that I have to actual use and figuring them out. Looking back at the time of my accident, you know, I'm thinking, what am I going to do after this? It's so awesome that now I've been an instructor for a college for uh, linemen, showing them the skills and what it takes to become a lineman. I honestly don't know how I could get any better. By sharing my story, uh, I may be saving somebody else from having an accident, just like the one I had. Hey baby, how you doing? Alright, how are you? Pretty good. They get your computers going? Yep, they're up and running. Sweet. I still look at through this incident, accident, and how I've been able to overcome it through having an awesome spouse that was with me 24-7, 
from the start and still here and motivating me to keep going, to keep pushing uh, has been phenomenal. When he had his accident, I almost lost him. And to think that we were given a second chance is exciting to think that we can do the things that we enjoyed to do and things that we love to do together. That's what our life is, that's what makes us happy.